Laporte to set up in a 3-4-3 formation in possession, with Jesus Corona, Danilo, Oliver Torres and Alex Tells across the midfield, and Mosa Marega, Otavio and Francisco Soares operating as a front three. The visitors only registered 40% of possession across the 90 minutes, and their attacks were somewhat one-dimensional, they almost exclusively looked long, for the runs of their front three and behind the Liverpool defence. When the visitors did try to play through Liverpool, they used the wing-backs as their out-ball. On the right, as the ball progressed to Corona, they would look to drop Otavio towards the ball in the hope of enticing Virgil van Dijk out and increasing the space in behind for Marega to exploit. They would often play into midfield first, to narrow Liverpool centrally and increase the space for the wing-backs to receive. In the second half, with Porto operating predominantly in a 5-4-1 due to the amount of time they spent out of possession, Otavio and Yassine Brahimi, who replaced Francisco Soares, would have more of an impact in the midfield third. This gave Porto more options around the ball when they regained possession, with Mariga as the out ball in behind. This is how the visitors created the few chances they made. Off the ball, Porto initially set up in a 5-2-3 formation, with Danilo and Torres as the two central midfielders. They didn't really press Liverpool high up the pitch, and would rarely go near Van Dijk or Lovren when the centre-backs had possession. Instead, Francisco Soares would try to affect Fabinho, Mariga would close down Alexander-Arnold and Otavio would press Milner. The issue for Porto was that Liverpool pushed their backs beyond their front line of three from where the diagonal pass eliminated them. This left the two central midfielders covering a large amount of ground, or the wing-backs being drawn out to press rather than dealing with Main and Salah. As a result, Porto fell into a 5-4-1 on a regular basis, and switched to this as a permanent strategy for the remainder of the game. Otavio and Mariga dropped in with Torres and Danilo to form the line of four, in the second half. Brahimi took Mariga's place on the left, as the latter replaced Soares as the lone striker. The problem with the low block was that Porto became too compact and couldn't get out to the ball quickly enough when Liverpool's attacking midfielders were in shooting positions, yet could still be eliminated with passes. Torres and Danilo tried to track Henderson and Keita when they ran in behind, but as the game progressed they became more concerned with maintaining a compact shape and not conceding.